Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Cardano, the fact that it is finally broken out of this accumulation phase. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the ITC stake pool if you wanna earn interest on your ADA. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this has been quite a journey with you guys. We've done videos for forever on ADA, dating all the way back to 2019, and, and I'll tell you, it's been one hell of a journey. And we've looked at this, what we called a reaccumulation phase. It's all because, you know, I've seen a lot of market cycle tops and, you know, or even, even local tops before major drops. And to me, this just simply did not look like a, a local top. We also discussed the implications of the 20 week SMA. So we were grounded. We knew where our bull market support band was to understand the downside risk. So far, we have continued to move up. Now, what we're going to do is is constantly challenge ourselves because when we when we operate in a, in a deterministic mindset, then it, it can get you into this into this phase where when what you're expecting to happen doesn't happen, it can throw you off guard. OK, so the first thing I'll say is this looks relatively bullish to me. OK, it looks relatively bullish to me. We had a breakout that took us to a close, our highest daily close ever for ADA, at a modest $1.65. Okay, so this is now ADA's highest daily close ever, $1.65. We had a wick that took us well over $1.70 or so. So the reason, the reason why I think this is somewhat bullish is because we recognize that we have been generally getting rejected around that level. And now the next obvious milestone is to is to look towards, I mean, maybe 175, but realistically, $2 is what is on everyone's mind. And I think there's a good chance that ADA will make it there in the coming weeks or months, as long as Bitcoin stays relatively healthy. We know we always have to go back to Bitcoin to get an idea of, of where things are um, with Bitcoin. And, and one of the things we'll note again with Bitcoin is that it's still in this sort of sideways movement phase. And as long as we stay there, a lot of our altcoins, or a lot of you know our, the altcoins we've come to love can, can still do remarkably well. It's not until Bitcoin goes below the 20 week SMA where a lot of times you'll see the tide shift in the event of, of a dump, okay? And there's no guarantee that that's even going to happen that we'll get a dump and Bitcoin could just go on another crazy run or it could just go sideways for a few months. Again, we saw a sideways movement last market cycle that lasted upwards of half a year or more. So that wouldn't be the first time, this wouldn't be the first time that we've seen some type of, you know, long extended reaccumulation phase for Bitcoin. Um, and at, at some point, at some point I imagine we'll break out either to the upside or the downside, of course. So when we, when we look at ADA, we say, all right, well, if Bitcoin stays relatively bullish or if it stays constant and it's not doing anything out of the ordinary, it's not, you know, breaking back out into price discovery mode, it's not immediately capitulating below the 20 week SMA, then it stands to reason there's a high probability that ADA could continue to rally. Historically, when we see ADA go into price discovery mode, it, it starts moving up relatively quickly. Now, these moves over here, as we said, are not technically price discovery mode because we did have a 2017 run. I told you guys a long time ago, back in 2019, I didn't think ADA had any business going to $1.30, uh, $1.38 or whatever back in 2017, 2018. But this, this market cycle is different. I mean, it, it's proven a lot more and it's in the process of proving stuff. So, but you can see these moves that ADA has. I mean, one of the one of the things about ADA is is we always like to joke about how it how it goes sideways, but you don't go from two cents to a dollar sixty in fifteen months by going sideways, now do you? Now I, I wanna so we we discussed the, the the bullish scenario, okay? And the bullish scenario is Bitcoin stays stable and ADA continues to make a run. That's the bullish scenario, and I think everyone's fairly well well, well aware of that. Now, the bearish scenario is, is to challenge our thinking on this, okay? And instead of drawing these, I mean, again, these are lines on a chart, guys. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, they don't really mean anything, okay? But if we challenge our thinking and say, well, what if, what if it's not just this sideways movement? What if we 
subtly pull this down to that candle and then subtly shift this one up and say, well, you know, is it possible that we could be in something like this where it, it, it's actually sort of this ascending channel and it looks something like that rather than this horizontal accumulation phase? And this is one of the reasons why, I mean, okay, first of all, I do, I do draw a lot of lines on the charts and we use them to sort of discuss where we could be. But one of the reasons why I, I don't like to do short-term trading is because you can see how easy it is to manipulate things and tell the story that you want to tell, okay? And if you, you know, if you, if it's, if it's this easy, then it's so easy to just change how you draw the lines to make whatever projection come true that you want to, that you want to project or say you want to speculate on a specific outcome. It's easy to change the narrative just by subtly shifting the lines. And you can see that both tell the story that is believable. And so I agree that ADA breaking out of this channel looks relatively bullish and I'm ready for a $2 ADA. Uh, at the same time, if, if Bitcoin does pull back, then we know that, that ADA would pull back, okay? And we know that ADA would pull back in that scenario. And if it were to happen, then maybe we would then come look, you know, maybe we would start looking at a channel that looks more like this, where rather than trending sideways, it's more so just subtly moving up, okay? And, and we're on sort of like a little roller coaster, sort of like the Ether Bitcoin valuation, right? Where it goes from the top to the bottom, the top to the bottom. And then even if you, I mean, if you look at it like this, we know that the Ether, Ether Bitcoin valuation eventually broke out of this sort of this sort of roller coaster move that was on against Bitcoin. Obviously, this took place over a much longer time, but here it is, and, and this is hopefully hopefully breaking out. So with ADA, I mean, you, you could come to the same conclusion either way, right? I mean, if it if you want to look at this as an ascending uh, ascending channel, it could still break out like Ethereum. The only the only thing that I want to make sure that people understand is let's not let's not like you know get ahead of ourselves anyway like that let's just take a step back and realize that hey in the grand scheme of the market cycle we have a long ways to go i think i think a two dollar ada is inevitable i, I don't really think there's i, I feel like the, the probability that we don't make it to a two to a two dollar ada at some point is is very very low um Time, I think, is generally on our side. So ADA, in my opinion, still looks great. The only thing that would mainly cause it to come back down would be if, if Bitcoin decides it's not going to it's not going to hold this level in the short term. And I think that could that can send ADA back down um, and, and back into those those ranges that we saw before. What's interesting is if you look at the ADA Ether valuation, we did come back into this yellow band like we discussed, but this weekly candle has already turned green. So the, the, the span of this wick here from the bottom to the top is 31 per, or 30 to 31%. So this has been one crazy week for ADA, not only because it's been going down against Ethereum, not because of that, but because it was staying stable against USD, Ethereum was going crazy, and then Ethereum calmed down a little bit, and ADA is now going crazy. And because of that, there's been a lot of volatility on the ADA Ether valuation, and you can see we've come right back up. Now, we talked about how the ADA Bitcoin valuation looked relatively bullish the last few videos we did on ADA, and that we were generally trending up. And here you can see we've actually moved back up to the level that we were at earlier, okay? So early March, and here we are in early May. So I think, you know, from, from what I'm looking at here, I would like to see us break above this, okay? I would like to see Bitcoin hold the line and ADA break above this, because if Bitcoin drops back, let's say, let's say Bitcoin pulls back to like 52 or 53K, then I think there's a higher probability that the ADA Bitcoin valuation in the short term could come back down because we know that when Bitcoin moves down quickly, it spooks altcoins, okay? And even in this uptrend here, you can see we've moved up and then we came back down and then we moved up and then we came back down. So I would like to see us break above this and then we, and then I think eight is off to the races. And then at that point, you know, maybe we'll go back up to these, this level that we were at in 2018 to get there from the current valuation. It would actually be another 46, about a 46% move against Bitcoin. If the valuation of Bitcoin were to remain invariant and the valuation of ADA were to go up approximately 46%, we'd be looking at around a $2.34 $2 ADA, 2 dollars 
which isn't really that hard to believe. So whether we're looking at a, at a breakout from our you know generally ascending channel, whether we're looking at a breakout from you know if, if we want to look at it like a, a horizontal channel we've already broken out from it, whether we want to look at it from A to Bitcoin and realize that hey this is the same local top on the on the close on the not including the wicks which on the daily time frame the body of the candles this is the same local top that we saw in, in er, late February and early March. Can we decisively break through it? Because if we can, then it likely implies Bitcoin is still holding the line and, and that altcoins are going to remain bullish. And if that's the case, then this is likely going to go up. And at the same time, at the same time, the dominance of Bitcoin is likely going to keep dropping like a rock. OK, and, you know, I've had a lot of people ask when when is alt season start? Let me tell you this. And I say this in a serious, you know, as serious I can be. If you're holding coins that have not performed well at all over the last year, and you're wondering when alt season starts, remember, there were a lot of coins that pumped in 2013 that did not do anything remarkable in 2017 or 2018. So some people sit on coins from prior cycles and assume they take it as a given that that coin will reach the prior all-time high. There's a lot of coins from 2013 that never reached their prior all-time highs in 2017. There's a lot of coins from that 2017, 2018 bull market that will never reach their all-time highs again. So if you're constantly wondering when does alt season start, you're probably just holding alt coins that are, are not as as attractive as, as as some of the other ones that we that we discussed. So just keep that in mind. Uh, nothing, nothing necessarily to take to the bank by any means, but that's just something to keep in mind. If you guys like the content, make sure you also check out the premium list. You can find a link to the bull market sale in the description below. Make sure you sign up, lock in the lower rate. You'll get access to weekly reports and how I navigate the market, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, and more. Make sure you guys check it out. Also, subscribe to the channel at the very least. Give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye.